Police in India have now filed both rape and murder charges against five men accused in the gang rape of a woman on a bus in New Delhi last month. This trial expected to be held in a new fast-track court in Delhi set up specifically to deal with crimes against women. Officials plan to ask for the death penalty in the case as the woman later died of her injuries. Reports say more than 30 witnesses have been gathered and police have compiled more than a thousand pages of documents. The sixth suspect, by the way, is believed to be a juvenile and is expected to be tried in juvenile court. Now, in reaction to the case, the World Sikh Organization has called on India to take strong action to prevent sexual violence against women. Balpreet Singh is a spokesperson for the World Sikh Organization, joins us now in our studio. Uh, when this story first broke, sir, I, I take it it doesn't come as a surprise to anyone who knows the subcontinent intimately. Uh, this kind of thing happens all the time. Absolutely. Uh, what I think happened this time was, because it hit so close to home, it was a 23-year-old student out to see a film. It was something that everyone could relate to, but frankly speaking... Traveling with a friend? Absolutely. Like in no way provocative? Absolutely. But this sort of thing happens all too often, and often it's just ignored, and often the victim is punished for this happening. It's very prevalent because, uh, you know, we continue to watch this story, and we came across a t statistic that a woman in India is raped every 19 minutes. Some people say it's even greater than that. To a lot of us, that's shocking, yeah. but this is the norm. How come? The problem really is twofold. Firstly, there's impunity for the perpetrators. It's very difficult to get a conviction. I think the conviction rate is around 24% right now. Mm -hmm. And secondly, the victims are punished doubly by the system. They're forced to go into their sexual history. They have to go through something called the finger test, where a doctor violates them to see whether they are lax, whether they're uh, used to sexual intercourse. And this is completely you know, barbarous as far as we're concerned. And mm -hmm. these sort of things have to change. Is this a legal problem, though, or is it a cultural problem? I would say it's a legal problem. Uh, impunity has to end. Uh, for example... But why does it exist in the first yeah. place? It's impunity in general for security forces, and secondly, uh, security forces and police officers are often just not willing to persecute or prosecute uh, the perpetrators. And... But is it also not that laws are not in place to protect women? And you touched on it, that yeah. a lot of this stuff largely goes unreported because it is humiliating families are yeah. devastated by this and there's the laws aren't in place to make it easier to report such crimes in essence in Canada we have the rape shield laws right. uh, where you can't go into the victim's background you can't talk about past sexual history that doesn't exist in India uh -huh. um, even rape itself has to include penetration uh, and you know, if you strip someone naked, you use some sort of an object to violate them, that doesn't count. So it's really, I think, a legal problem. So what, what has to be done? Definitely more than what's happening now. What we see happening right now is a lot of hysteria of punishing these people. We have to send them to the gallows is what a lot of Indians are saying. Mm -hmm. That has to change. What has to be looked at is the way victims are dealt with. For example, they just initiated a, calls, uh, a call number that women mm -hmm. can call into. The fact is, all the people answering the calls are men. Uh, you know, it's just common sense that a woman would feel more comfortable dealing with another woman. Just the way this is dealt with in India has to change. So it's, they're talking, at least right now, talking about bringing in tougher rape laws, uh, better police protection for women as well. But is there political will to get that done? Is this case the catalyst for that? I would hope so, but a recent uh, report indicated that 30 elected members of uh, parliament are themselves facing sexual crimes uh, charges. So it's a that big That illustrates problem. how huge this is, Absolutely. a challenge. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and what many people found most appalling about this case is that when it became widely understood what had happened and there were protests in the street, the politicians barricaded themselves in government buildings and sent the cops out to fight with the protesters. So the protest became the problem for politicians, not the fact mm. that women are being assaulted you know, every hour in their own country. Yeah, absolutely. The protesters have been definitely victimized and no one is looking at the bigger picture. It's about more than just this one case. You have a suicide by a victim who was told by the police she had to withdraw her case or marry her, marry her, you know, uh, the Attacker? criminal. Attacker? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is happening all too often and look at the big, big picture. That's what I would encourage the Indians to do. Balpreet Singh is a spokesperson for the World Sikh Organization. Nice of you to come in on this snowy day in this mm. big city. Indeed. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you.